What's going on, guys and girls? I got a few minutes before my uh, game 93 uh, game goes out to Alan Shaw. He's over in the UK, over in England, over in that way across the pond anyway. And I told him I was going to try to get him a race on at 3 Eastern time today. So I mean, a game, I'm sorry, a baseball game. Rangers at Red Sox at 3 Eastern time. Uh, don't forget also Anthony Crooks, um, Glory Days Boxing, going to be going on sale within the next couple hours. So uh, you folks check that out as well. Um, this is for I Am Spartacus. And for anyone else that uh, – let me get my live chat open. Uh, anyone else that would like to see what's going on right here, um, I'll pretty much show you what you get. Uh, obviously, I've got a lot, lot more here than you would get normally. I see there's my uh, my uh, YouTube league, and uh, yeah, there's my uh, um, the older league, yeah, the Pioneers Racing Pioneers League. I got those. And I keep them separated. Stuff got different race tracks. What is going on? All right. Um, first off, let me show you. Let me just show you what you get if you get the package. Uh, obviously, the box is skinny. Uh, if you've never ordered it, uh, um, anything from Play.com, the box is small. Okay, it's easy storing. It's all. It's not even an inch thick, hardly. And he packs it really, really well. Look at this. This is the bubble wrap that they always are talking about. And Keith wraps it well. He'll have it in this like this. And then in a box like this, priority mail. Okay? So you'll be getting it, you know, it'll be wrapped in that and then in this. So even if the box comes like that, where the postal service doesn't take care of it, this takes care of it pretty well. So you're pretty good shape. All right. When you get it, this is pretty much what you got. Okay. Um, now I've got, like I say, I've got two or three sets. So of drivers, which you can order sets separate. Okay. From the game. But originally you've got to order the game, but you can also tell uh, Keith, I want to scram racers if, if if that's what you want. If you want fictional, he'll send you fictional. Or when I originally got mine, I just said I want the 1980s set. Okay, he sent me the 80s set with that. I mean, you know, the original these drivers here. Okay, they're going to come on a page, and you have to take them all apart. Then let me show you what else is going on with it. Okay, all right. I keep them separated, and if you can tell, you might be able to tell right there. You probably can't. You've got some drivers that are just drivers, and then some that are TV drivers. TV drivers get a special quality, okay? TV drivers, I'll show you that in a second, but uh, it, for each driver, each one has a TV driver card too, all right? Check out the difference of the color of the cards, okay? Just a little bit. And I, a way I understand it from Keith is he's going to start making the TV driver cards more of a yellowish color, okay? You can maybe tell the color difference in the card. Can you see? These are a little bit darker tinted. If you don't have good eyes, you may not be able to really tell it. But it is a different color. This is more of a cardboardy type thing, and this is more of a papery type, okay? This would be a regular driver. This would be a TV driver. And yeah, a lot of people have been requesting to, to Keith, let's get these yellow, more yellowy. That way we, they're easier to spot. All right. I'll tell you why they're considered TV drivers in a moment. Okay. But this is what you would get and you would have to separate them. You'll get those on a different sheet from these. Okay. Then uh, you'll have a thing to be able to keep up with the first 19 drivers, okay? You'll have these right here, okay? Top group, that'll take care of seven drivers, and then eight 
8 through 11, 12 through uh, 15, 16 through 19. Now, if you don't get, uh, I highly recommend if you order this, okay? If you order this game, get a free, get a freebie. All right, do this, okay? You still need this, okay? But you don't need it for the racing. You can use this. Al Wilson has a free PDF, and if you go to play.com, it'll say Al Wilson's, it'll show you this, okay? Get it and get it on some cardboard. It doesn't have to be the best cardboard. What's up, Bobby? And then get it, uh, what do you call it, Dora? Laminated. laminated. Get it laminated. Now, what did I do? I got me two of them. Okay? Because anytime I've got it on it, this has got all 43 cars. Okay? All right. Here's a here's a race leader going all the way to 19. And then we start at 20 and go all the way back to 43. Okay. So uh I recommend getting this. I got two of them. Because anytime I'm at, my, I'm at my table, okay, anytime I'm at my table, if I have to stop a game right in the middle of it, I have to pick up, Rob, your dad needs you. Rob, we need to go to wherever. I'll put the other one on top of this, and those cards will stay perfect. I don't care if it's a little bit of a breeze in your house or whatever, okay? So I recommend getting two of these. Now, they even make them out of my where you can get it like mouse pads okay where they're really really thick they'd probably cost a little bit more but you can get to all that stuff on the free website of play.com okay now enough about what you get okay um this book right here along here's your dice and where's the racetrack let me just get a track out all right i'm just gonna grab one okay all right. All right. Let's just say right now we were racing at Wall Street Speedway. Okay. Here's Wall Street Speedway. Okay. All right. You gave me your qualities a minute ago. All right. You see where you got skill, smart, and heat. All right. Well, if I roll... The two uh, metallic dice, and I get, uh, let's see what number. No. Hold on. Uh, yeah, let's say I roll a nine. Here we go. All right, so let's say I roll a dice. And I roll a nine, okay? All right. You'll notice on number nine right there, it says smart. See the smart trait right there at number nine? That means anybody's card, anybody's race card that has the smart trait with it, that has a smart trait on there, then we'll roll to give them a chance to pass people in front of them. If you don't have a smart trait, if I roll a nine and you don't have a smart trait, you can't pass anybody that turn. Okay. All right. Let's say, for instance, I would have rolled. Uh, where's it racetrack at? There it is. Uh, uh, seven. All right. You 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 don't ask him for star. You see how I roll? They say there's a seven right there. Let's just say I roll a seven on these two dice. You see where it says star. Then if I get to your car and I see it does not have a star trait, then I just bypass that one and go to the others. So you're wanting the ones that's going to get rolled on the cards, okay? That's what you want, okay? That's what you want, okay? So anytime, see, but each track is different. It, so that's why I've got these tracks picked out, okay? They're all fair because the six traits are all listed on there one time. We have some racetracks 
that have two skills or two smarts or two something else. It's really not fair to somebody. If you, if, if we, a lot of us have the smart trait and other people don't. So that's why I've got all six traits on there. If you notice uh, five skill, that's one, six heat, that's two, seven reflex, that's three, eight control, that's four, smart is nine, that's a fifth one, and star 11, that's a sixth one. TV, that one's got two TV, it's got a rare, it's got a problem, and got a trouble, okay? TV drivers, they're they're lucky. That's all it is. It's just the luck of the draw whether you're a TV driver or not. Okay, so you cannot have a TV quality on your card, but that's what happens. And what I do, I roll these dice each time, and you're hoping that one of these three qualities comes up every time. Okay, she's trouble. <laughs> she says she's trouble. <laughs> So you're hoping you, that those qualities come up every time, but each track we go to is different numbers, okay? So try it all you want to, but if, if you're thinking that, okay, I can outdo the system, you're not going to do it because one race, one race, you know, heat may be six, next race it may be three, it may be 12. It gets changed with every track. If we race every track either once or if we're going to race them twice, we race them twice. But we're going to try to leave it all as a, you know, that's why that's why you really don't have an advantage picking the three you did, okay? Uh, escape means if there's a chance that there's going to be an accident or something, the higher the number, the better. Uh, pits, the higher the number, the better, okay? But uh, this one right here, Sometimes if it's not high enough, you can be out of the race. Ask Bobby. Because <laughs> I know Bobby, I think Bobby won a race or two, but she also, I know she fell out of a race or two, too. She can tell you about it. So, uh, you know, if, it, if it numbers don't, you know, if the dice don't roll for you, <laughs> um, then you won't win. Then you're not going to win. So you got to hope for the dice to roll. Uh, this right here tells you, um, which you can do this is optional tells you race week about uh, how everybody's starting and stuff like that. And, um, then the other one, uh, gives you a better explanation of where the hell is it? Here it is. Uh, during the race, uh, how to do duels, pit stops, finding different drivers, what each dice has got to do with, you know, with what, what each one has to do with. And, I, you know, after you get to seeing it, if you watch a few of my races, you find out real, real quick, um, you know, performance chips, what they're for, stuff like that. But, um, you know, overall, I'm, a very, I'm very, very pleased with this. If I weren't pleased, I wouldn't have so many race cars. I mean, look at this. See, it's crazy. I got bag after bag of them. I've got the 80 set. I've got the 2000 set. Um, I've got the Pioneer set. And then I've got the YouTube set. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And I try to keep them separated more times than not. Uh, this one I don't have separated. But you can see maybe the color difference there. So it's a little bit whiter tint. And that these are regular drivers. These would be the TV drivers here. The darker tent. So, have I helped you at all? I don't know if I've done any help. But did I, uh, you know, make? It, but when you have trouble, you got roles to try to escape. Um, different, just different things. Anytime there's a um, there's a chart to find. Okay, it's it's pretty self-explanatory once you get it. But it, it's a lot on you if you're just watching a video. I know it is. Um, rare results, uh, bottom top groups, stuff like that, odd problems and stuff like that. But let, let me make it clear to you. Whenever, you, whenever I let you pick the, these, there's no clear-cut favorite or, uh, oh, boy, I've got that one, so I know I've got a better chance of winning. No. You do not have any better chance. It's all dependent on what type of choices does a driver make. You really don't. 
you really don't make a lot of choices. It's just more dice driven game. It's not, and that's what I don't, that's what one thing it's a downer about it. You can't decide when you pass. You can't decide. You really don't. It's it's just pretty much a dice driven game. So it's it's pretty much once you give once you you know get your setup in your car, it's pretty much that, and that's it. But um, I am discussing with a couple of people online about a possible couple of games that uh, they've been working up, and I've also been talking. Um, to a couple of people that know some uh, racing games that actually you get to do the pit stops when you want to. Um, it's, it's, a, you know, it's a little more driven as far as driver uh, and, and the person doing it. This one right here, you really don't have a lot of decision making going on during the race. It's pretty much everything you set up in the car and then you roll with it. That's why a lot of times I don't have, Sometimes, Bobby, I tell you, sometimes I'll have 20 people watch my races. Sometimes I don't have 10, depending on the time of day I start, stuff like that. So it's pretty much it's pretty much a crapshoot with this. It really is. So you've got people that like it, and then you've got some people that don't like it, just because they don't get to decide what their driver does. And I'm with you on that. I wish you could. You know, I think, you know. But for the for the game engine itself, it's not a bad it's not a bad game. Um, you get to choose different things, and if you the more races you win, then the more stuff you get, and that's all. You know, you just acquire more stuff. That's all. But uh, like passing out now, no, the pit stops are all pit stops. Everybody comes in at one time. Um, yeah. You keep that same characteristics for the season. Yeah. 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 Bobby likes it once with no decision making. Yeah. But I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I've, I've always been a good, I, you know, I, I ain't going to say a good. Uh, I've known racing for 40 years. Let's say it that way 35, 40 years. I've been going to races since the mid 80s. And, um, uh, yeah, I, I I would prefer where I could decide when I want to pit, whether I want a short pit, uh, do I want to wait and hope for a caution? I'm with you. And there's some board games like that, and I can tell you more about some of those board games. Uh, Formula D, I think it's what it's called, Formula D. It's made in a road course type thing, but you have to you have to it's like gear changing and stuff like that. It, only a couple laps, but you still have to make pit stops. Your tires wear out. Uh, it's all sorts of stuff going on. And I've heard it's really a fun game. Uh, it's not cheap for a racing game. That is what I like about out, out by saddle racing, turn driven, but you feel more like a jockey as you steer and ride a horse. horse. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's okay. I don't mind it. Uh, looks like to me, it looks like it gets a little jumbled at times. And a lot of times you don't have a choice to go thing, go places. That's the one thing I don't like about saddle racing. The one thing I don't like, um, it looks like to me now this just from what I've initial views of, of formula D it looks like to me that if you use your head, you, it's still a dice-driven game, I think, but if you use your head, you can decide, well, okay, when you get to a turn, okay, I know I got to gear down, stuff like that, and you can kind of drive your car around the track. I think it's only a two or three laps is all you do, but it takes better part an hour, hour and 15, hour and a half to do two or three laps, and that's with like five cars. So, and I think the more cars you probably have, the better fun you would have, I would think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know it. Horse, and that's the thing, you know. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, I've been to a lot of horse races, though, and where they – actual horse races. Um, it's all right. I don't think I would I, – I don't think it would be for me. I don't think it would be. Yeah. I know Tabletop Earl, has, he showed him off before. That game, I don't think that game's for me. I just don't think it is. Now, I think Formula D, you can have certain types of cars, too. Like – and then I think you roll beforehand, and if it's like, okay, advantage, Ferrari, advantage, whatever, whatever kind of car, down the straightaway, they get a little bit more of a stretch or whatever, something like that. It's just like for, almost like Formula One, like the Ferrari's running better this week or the Audi's running better. I wish I knew. Google it, okay? Google, and it may be DE, Formula DE. I'm not sure. But Google that and look it up. It's not cheap. It's like 60 or 70, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks. At one time, you could get it at Target. But I don't think Target carries it anymore. So I don't know if it's still in print. But I do know they have different racetracks you can still buy on, on eBay. You can still get it on eBay. You can still get it new on eBay in the package. But uh, by all means, by all means, watch YouTube videos, watch different things, and see if it's what you like. That's why I say go back to watch some of my red, white, blue racing. I've probably got fit. 30, 30, 40 races. Go back and watch it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Um, I'm a big NASCAR fan. So, uh, you know, I've got I've got it with Earnhardt Sr. I've got it with Dale Jarrett. Um, so many, you know, Kale Yarborough you know, in the eighties then I've got Dale jr. And Dale senior and Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Newman, all of them in the two thousand set. Then I got the pioneer set with junior Johnson and, uh, Lee Petty and, you know, fireball Roberts. It is, it kind of is. It's kind it's pretty much, Setting and waiting and, you know, kind of hoping that your car does the best. It, it is that. Yeah. But, you know, it, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. That's the one thing I don't like about it. But let me also tell you this, too. I raced a whole 32 race season of 1980s um, red, white, blue racing. Daryl Walsh won like seven races. Earnhardt run like won like five or six. Bill Elliott won five or six. I mean, once in a while you get an upset, but not too often. Not too often. The best drivers get their way to the front, work their way to the front. That's you know. And we had a YouTube, we had our YouTube race against against those guys. And we had a couple of guys that got up there and raced with them, but they didn't beat them. Didn't beat them. I, I didn't think we would, but I, I thought it was going to be interesting to see if anybody would or not. Um, I just got an email from Anthony Crooks, and they saying that um, – yeah, you talking about this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, especially if if you have the time before everybody gets there to have everybody's name, you know, Betty, John, Tom, Rick, Sam, and draw everybody a different color car. You don't even have to have numbers on it, dude. You don't. As long as you got names, you're good. And then you can just say, okay, what would you like? Let it, hand one to everybody, hand a pen to everybody. Okay. All right. Just be careful. Do it, do it the way you want to. Hand them a pencil is probably better. And then, uh, because it comes with blank ones, too. I didn't tell you that. It comes with blank cards. Each time you order a set, it comes with a few um, 
not just like this. Some are like this, okay? But it also comes with uh, some that has the back print real, real light, and you just have to mark over it to make, you know, so it's some prepared cars. It doesn't have a number or anything up here. You write a number. You can draw it whatever way you want to, color it in whatever way you want to. You can do it. So it gives you a few options, okay? And then you got so many racetracks you can choose from and so many new uh, free ones on the freebies at play.com. I've probably got 50, 60 racetracks. So short tracks, big tracks, all sorts of stuff. And it, each one of them will tell you different things like, okay, if an accident occurs, they have a less chance, you know, like a, the big one at Talladega or Daytona. It does do things a little bit like that, like, you know, let it be two caution flag laps instead of one if it's a bunch of cars. Um, I've lost as many as nine and ten cars in one wreck. Bristol, I think it was Bristol. Yeah. So it, it happens. It happens, no doubt. Um, I've got Old North Wilkesboro. I've got uh, Richmond, Martinsville. I've got all the current tracks. Kansas, Daytona, Talladega, Texas, Phoenix, all of them. Um, Michigan, you got road courses. You just have different laps, different amount of laps, and then uh, – but I'm with you. I wish that you could pit, uh, make changes on a car, you know, tweak things a little bit. It does not allow them to do that. I will say that. So I hope I didn't burst anybody's bubble, but I hope I did give you enough insight as to whether you may want to order this or not. Okay. Um, I. I play it a lot. I play it a lot. News guys. And I'll also tell you this too. Um, if you like to show your videos online, it gets a lot of people. A lot of people like to watch it. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. My email from Anthony, I apologize, Tribe fan, said from one from between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. today, uh, his boxing game will be on the site, website. I went to the website uh, 35, 40 minutes ago. It's not up for sale yet, okay? Glory Days Boxing, uh, $24 plus tax. So East Coast, I'm going to pay a little bit more than some of you guys out West, okay? But uh, I think he's got 40 or 50 is all he's got today. He's going to try to get like 60 more in Wednesday. I think that's right. But anybody that orders today, West Coast time tomorrow, they're going to ship it out. Just leaving. Uh, it's the same place that Payoff Pitch is. So it's sidelinestrategy.com. Anthony uh, got in touch with me. I got in touch with Sideline Strategy. Joe at Sideline Strategy got back to me, said during the lunchtime he was going to get the website up and running. Uh, as of 2 o'clock, Eastern time, it nothing had happened yet, but it could be now. Could be now. So I'm actually going to go check that myself. Did I help you at all, Atma? I hope I didn't confuse you more than help you. But um, you know, there's ups and downs. There's ups and downs that game. There's no doubt about it. But you know, it is pretty fun. It is pretty fun. It's an enjoyable game. And then. Uh, All right, that's cool. I got you. I wish, I wish there was a way that they could make a red, white, and blue racing where you could pit when you wanted to. Uh, and then if there's an accident, let's say you pit, then there's an accident two laps later. All right, you're a lap, you're a lap down. Okay, then you have to work your way back or something. I don't, you know, there's a lot. It would take a lot to do it. It would have to, you'd have to really be sitting on a table, really thinking about that a long time. That's not something that you could just do a little, a little engine on it and just let it roll out. I think you would have to spend some time on it because anybody that's ever watched NASCAR knows P 
pitting at the wrong time can burn, you know, can mess your whole race up. But uh, if you could tweak it, you know what I'm saying? If you could tweak it and be like, okay, now I need one more gas pedal now to pass some cars and I'm willing to give up something else, you know, a trade type thing. That would be cool. Now, keeping up with it would probably be a pain in the ass. But uh, I, I think uh, I think some some things could be done to it. And let me also let me tell you there. Uh, let me tell you this one: If you ever come up with an idea, do not be scared to go to Keith and tell him, "Look, this is all well and good." But what if, and give him the idea, okay? Because number one, you couldn't you couldn't infringe on this on the right copyrights of this game and print out something just like it with a couple of new details. You couldn't do that. But who knows? If you came out with an idea to where he could have red, red, white, and blue number two, or some other type of racing, I, I don't know. And be like, okay, if this happens, then this, you know, this occurrence, you probably he'd probably slip you one in the mail. I don't know. I'm not, you know, and I'm not speaking for for him, but I'm just saying, if you come up with that kind of detail to where people are just going to be swapping anybody that loves racing, it's like, damn, we got to find that. We got to find that. We got to find that because true race, true racers would love to find something that you can decide when you want to pit, uh, work on your car, do all sorts of stuff. And, you know, if you mess up, if you make a bad, bad decision, you're in the back. So be it. You're back there. But at least you get a chance to, to mess your own self up in that game. So if you do come up with an idea, he's never said, yeah, you need to get back in touch with me. I'm telling you, go for it. Get in touch with him. I can tell you how to get in touch with him. Keith's no problem to find. And you can actually go to P-L-A-A-Y, P-L-A-A-Y.com, and he's got a comment section. And I'll tell you this. I've I've probably gotten in touch with him five times. Uh, yeah, yeah, or or – if you could make your car go faster to try to catch up, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you would have to do. It's probably something you'd have to sit down on a table for not days, but probably weeks and give it some serious thought. Okay. Now, if this happens, then what, you know, you gotta, you gotta do the, what ifs. what if somebody did this, then what would happen? What, you know, that type of thing. If you spent your time on it and, you know, number one, you might would even want to talk to him ahead of time and say, look, I would love for it to be for there to be a racing game like that. Are you interested? If I can come up with something that I think would work. There's only two there's only two ways he can answer you. Yes or no. Okay. And from what I see of Keith, Keith doesn't give me the he doesn't give me the idea that he would dismiss people. He would like to see what you got. So that's what I would do. That's what I would do. If I was going to sit down when I was in my twenties, I used to would sit down all the time and try to invent stuff like that. And I really, really didn't have the inventive um, gene in me to speak. So to speak, I knew in the back of my mind what I wanted but I didn't know how to get it out and say, okay, this is what the hell needs to be done. I, I didn't do it. Uh, I could just like, just like his deal with Anthony, Anthony's got a wrestling game coming up in 2020 based off of his boxing game. I couldn't have created it, but he's sending the engine to me and it, I'm going to, I'm going to work it and work on it and see, we'll see how it is and see if I'm happy with it. And he just wants to wants my input. Well, okay, Rob, do I like it? Yeah, but this could happen. Or yeah, I love it. You know, and that's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to give him a straight shot, and he knows I will. He knows if I don't like something, I'm going to tell him. You know, 
I, w- I want him to have the best product possible. Because I want it. That's why, I mean, and I'm not trying to be a smart ass about it. I want him to have a great, great product and I want him to be successful. But I want, you know, I want to be a little bit of a pig about it too. I, w- I want something out of it. So I wanted to buy it, sure. But I, I hope for the best product. That's why I want him to succeed big time with this boxing because I've watched it boxing. Glory days, it's awesome. And it's not a table clutterer. It's a small game. It's a small game. It's a cool setup. What's up, Ian? Um, I've been trying to come up with ideas for a dirt racing board game with dynamic track. You know what? Work on it. Work on it. Do it. That's your thing. That is just the way to roll with it. But, you know, I have yet to come up with a board game, especially NASCAR based, where if you pit it, okay, you know, you know, somebody's a half a lap down. How do you determine the quad? You know, all right, he's got newer tires than the other guy. There's a lot of fine tuning you got to do with that. Find it, send it to somebody. Like I say, first off, I would do is get in touch with him. Keith, I like that game. Or, you know, it's not my favorite game. You know, I've seen Rob play it. And Rob, Rob enjoy Rob clearly enjoys it online, but it's really not my game. But if this and this and this got tweaked, would you be willing to make a number two or a new title? Hell, he may go with a new title. You can only ask. Glory Days is available now. Rob is getting out of here. Glory Days is available now. Alan Shaw, tell us what is happening at three Eastern time. It's on you, brother. Three Eastern time, twelve minutes. What's happening? Watch you. Watch the. Uh... All right. There we go. <laughs> Tom just ordered it, and Rob is heading that way. All right. I hope I answered everyone's questions to the best of my ability. The next Red Sox game, you got it against the Rangers game number 93, 3 p.m. Eastern. It may be five after, Alan, because I'm going to order my boxing right now. Tip of the hat to you. I hope, I hope you guys order it, and I hope you left me one where I can get it. Have a great, great day. Till I see you again, I am Rob. If I did leave you out in the dark about something, leave me a comment section. Leave me down in the comment section. I will try to fix or remedy any situation you got if I can. Have a great one.